did this off Amazon. It's a screwdriver blade. I wanted it for my stove to clean my stove, and uh, thirteen ninety nine. That's Canadian price off Amazon, and it comes in a package here. You don't need a blade to open it up. Resealable bag. You get a few things with it. Extra blades, screwdriver, and a scraper. Classic. What to get with this blade scraper? You get the blade scraper itself. This is the plastic one. It's kind of a a gift for small stuff. X ten extra blades. They give you a screwdriver. It's a cheap screwdriver, but they give you a screwdriver. You take the blades off, and then that switches off. And that's just a slotted screwdriver. Anyway, it's angled. When I looked at the, I thought it was straight. It's angled. See how it's angled here? It's not straight here. It's not straight. It's angled. Now, I guess when you're doing windows, it would be angled like this. It does have a place you can, I guess, put a broom stick on there if you want to. Use that. It has a protective plastic for the blade. The blades are extremely sharp. And uh, two screws hold the blades on here. And uh, this will take it off. They're on there tight. This is those. No, it's not. They're on tight. This screwdriver is not going to take it off. I'll tell you that. I wanted it for the stove to clean the stove, and I will show you that in a minute. The screws are extremely tight, and we're going to take it apart here with a PB Swiss screwdriver, Phillips number two. They're small little screws. They're on there very, very tight. That screwdriver came with it, but not take it off. Now we flip it over and see inside here where the blade is inside here. That's how it's held in. You see the two notches here? That's where the blade is held into these two notches. It doesn't fit through the two holes here. Put that back together. That's how the blade goes. This not magnetized, it just fits well inside that screwdriver. So tighten it back up. The cap back on. And it comes with the 10 different blades in here. That fits on top of it so you can put it on your pegboard, hang it up. Bought this scraper for one reason to clean the top of my stove, and uh, it's comfortable in the hand and it's much wider. This is what I usually use these red ones here, and you have to push it and hold it, it doesn't stay in place. You have to hold it with your thumb, and then you do your scraping of your of your stove here, the baked on stuff on the elements here. And if you let it go, it'll go right inside, so it won't lock in there. And it's hard on the thumb after a while. This replaces two of my scrapers here, so twice the width of it, and a lot more comfortable in the hand. And my thumb doesn't get sore. Does a good job. Sharp blade here. Then I would clean it with baking soda and that stove top stuff, the cleaner there. So I'm happy with this scraper and that's why I bought it for this reason, to clean the top of my stove. And that fits in there nicely, clicks in place, protect you. I have my video today about the scraper here that cleans the top of your stove. It comes with the 10 extra blades. I'd like to thank all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. If you watch this for the first time today, please subscribe my channel. Don't forget to ring that bell and be notified the next time I upload a video. 
Thanks for listening, people. Have a great day.